you don't see no belly now, you gotta hop down, I'm gonna get upset. You know what I mean? It ain't like I'm, ain't like I'm overweight, I'm on weight. You show me the absolute You understand? 58 years old, I'm on weight. 58? Yeah, January 15th, so say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bernard. Yeah. Uh, there you go, thank you. And you went and did five miles this morning, didn't you? I did three and a half. Five, three and a half. So I did some weights before. <laughs> I had to do the weights and then go run. There it is. He's not doing it. He gets up there. Don't ever work for an armed security detail. You gotta run with him at four in the morning. And then it's show off. It's lifestyle. Yes, sir. Hey, so why you do it? It's a lifestyle. It ain't a diet. It's a lifestyle. Well, what happens when you stop boxing? You're gonna gain 30, 40 pounds and be fat like all the other athletes. Then I tell you, lifestyle has something to do with boxing. <laughs> It's just so poor sound box, which makes me better. Well, hey, man, I want this is your right. show. <laughs> I know better. It's your show, yeah. But that, that's uh, pretty cool. You're talking to the 20 year old here playing off Schofield. But this young card of the Lexus Roadshow, that community of Kuzi, Oscar Payaso, it's about going to board, bringing these young fighters, giving them an opportunity to put on a show. That message you just had for Schofield, it's not just for him, it's for every young fighter, isn't it? It's the lifestyle you got to live if you want to be a champ. Woman, man. Young man, it's for everybody. And it, 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 it's a life period. I mean, if you just take life and that, that concept and you add it to everything else you have that's going to take you to where you need to go, this will be very hard to discourage you or beat you because that's, that, that's something that's embedded. That's something that comes in time. And time is patience, consistency, and then it becomes the truth. And it's also about believing in yourself. We're gonna have two fighters on the card, and Beck Demir and Alexis Rocha, who've suffered L's in their careers, but they fought back, came back after it. You've done the same. That mentality, the best advice you would have for Rocha and Beck coming in this weekend? I mean, look, I lost my first professional fight, four rounds in Atlantic City. As of last June, just past 2022, I'm all of fame. So I went from 0-1, to one and one, to two and one, to three and one, and now the Hall of Fame. So it ain't the way you start, it's the way you end and finish. So some people's beginning is so great that they fizzle out and they become, you know, a has been. So same as the females and, 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 and males that face adversity, um, the way you start doesn't have to be necessarily the way you, it ends. That's up to you. Everything in the middle is entertainment and fun in life, good or bad, it becomes now lessons. So I, 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 I agree, I, I, you know, I got lessons to tell people that face those adversities. I, I face those adversities. And they say, well, I'm not you, be high. That's exactly. Make your own legacy, make your own history. And you'll see some of that on Saturday, YouTube Theater, Golden Boy gets going. The first broadcast of the year, first show of the year. Bernard, you're a partner in Golden Boy Promotions. Oscar was talking about how a big year, uh, 2023 for Golden Boy. You're excited about not just this card on Saturday, but what the company has in store for this year with Ryan Garcia, with Virgil Ortiz, with Sudo Ramirez, and now with the fight announced on February 18th with Zach and Luis Netti. Golden Boy is looking good in 2023. Absolutely, and, and, and not only that, of course, we know about the, the, the sort of um, entertainment of media with the Ryan Garcia and also Tank Davis and, and other fights that's been talked about that I can't speak right now, um, and also potentially silent fighters that's well established that I can't speak right now in the future. But one thing that is now is that we put the call out, and if anybody uh, in here that you know, follows uh, boxing not only in the ring or TV or at the fights, but also get into the, you know, what's next from any promoter, from any entity, and hear the gossip or hear the drama um, and all the things that, that happens in between as, uh, as that's entertainment itself and then the reality. Hopefully, you have super fights, and that's where we uh, lean fastly to of, of, of this year, Sigi de Mayo, month or, or, or year of, of April and May, and, and then you have, of course, in between, then you have September. Fight's gonna happen. And I'm gonna say that Go To Boy promotion is not gonna stick their chest out and say, see what we did, it's more of see what we said. Right. It's what we said. We wanna make the best fights. We put our hand in, 
Yeah, I said it. We put that top rank. Yeah, I said it. We put any other promoter out there on notice that we're going to do it if you don't want to do it. And if we do it and we set the tone and we're consistent about it, y'all get exposed. Y'all don't want to be exposed, so now y'all got to go ahead and y'all got to raise your game up. Now y'all got to be on the alliance of us. We don't have to say we're the leaders. We let the numbers speak for themselves and let the matches speak for themselves. And when you do that, even a fan or not a fan of Golden Boy, for whatever reason, you have that opportunity in this country to pick and choose. You will look like a complete asshole if you say something different than everybody else saying is not true. We want to make the best fights. That matters. Not the one that take the money out your pocket and say you should be happy to see someone go home and go to bed. Bernard Hawkins. William Nell.